Hey, I'm Cable, and today we're going to talk about selling personal training and boot camp or group fitness type services. So if you're a personal trainer, fitness professional, gym owner, Pilates instructor, yoga instructor, all of this is going to apply to you. In fact, this will probably apply to selling just about anything because the act of selling today is to be the assistant buyer or to help people make a decision. What we're going to talk about specifically today is why people say no or start to object. We, we live in a world where you know, it's sales has really shifted. You know, sales used to be I knew more about something than you did, so I would kind of share with you the knowledge and educate you on the process, and you'd make a decision because I was the trusted expert. These days, the salesperson is not necessarily the trusted expert. I would say more often they're they're considered the the enemy, if you will, right? Because we feel that salespeople are going to try to convince us to do something we don't want to do or don't necessarily need to do. So instead, we result to looking at reviews and the internet and so on, and we start to make decision about products and services before we actually get there. But usually when push comes to shove, we're all fearful of making a decision. So that's the number one thing, right, is people are fearful. And how does fear manifest itself? Well, when we ask for the sale or present our products or services, usually fear represents presented in one of three ways, whether it be time, money, or spouse. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to come to the gym. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Let's face it, everything is expensive. Nobody wants to pay for anything. Me either. I don't want to pay for any services any more than you do, so everything feels expensive. But when something delivers a result beyond what you expect, you know, it really doesn't cost us anything. It becomes easy to see that investment. Anyway, that's a whole different video. So the final one is spouse. I need to talk to my wife about it or I need to think about it, right? So those kind of fall in the same things. So we could teach you to overcome each of these objections, you know, and in any situation, the key to overcoming objection and working with the prospect to help them make a decision today is that remember, we all make decisions when we are emotional, right? So we have to be emotionally charged about whatever it is that we are trying to make a decision on in an effort to move forward today so that's the first thing is that we need to be emotional but beyond emotion in order to overcome fear ultimately these come down to one thing when people are dealing with you the salespeople trust money spouse all equate to one thing and that is trust if somebody trusts you they're going to agree to try and and that's all we need going forward to today so time money spouse whether these objections are real or not at the end of the day what we're really saying is that they don't trust you or they so and that's what we need to overcome is we need to educate and uh, make people feel warm and comfortable uh, so and ultimately so they can trust us so how do we do that well first and foremost I believe that in a selling situation, it's really important to say the things that we know people are thinking. I always find that uh, fitness professionals in general feel uncomfortable about selling and everybody feels awkward. And the, the point is, is that like most people are good, moral, ethical people that want to do the right thing and are very sincere. And by virtue, that's what sort of messes them up because they think, I don't want to pressure people into doing something. I don't want to make them do something they don't want to do. But let me tell you something. If somebody's sitting in front of you or has taken the time to talk about your services, they are genuinely interested because think about how busy you are and how busy the world is today. It's really hard to find time to fit anything in. Just to get across town and get groceries and get home home for the family you know like these are big monumental tasks so when somebody makes an effort to come see you or spend time with you they are clearly interested in your service because they've greatly inconvenienced themselves so if they showed up you've talked about your services we get to the point where we're talking about moving forward and they start to balk at it saying they don't have time they can't afford it they need to speak to their wife what you need to hear is they don't trust you and we need to address and deal with that so you need to reflect upon them we always need to say to people um, we, we always need to be able to say to them or help them kind of identify with that without actually putting them on the spot saying, hey, you don't trust me, do you? And rather, we need to say things like, um, you know, I totally get it, Mrs. Jones. I'm a consumer too, and it's hard to find the money for things, or it's hard to justify the money for things. I don't want to pay for anything. Everything is too expensive because I'm so afraid that it won't work and that ultimately my money might be lost or I might get ripped off. You know, do you ever feel that way? So the point is, is we're not directing the attention to us, saying that they don't trust us, but we are reflecting what it is that they've indicated is the problem and kind of showing us, showing a way to be able to relate. So what we're really looking for is that affirmation of, are we on the right track? Are we on the right track? Yes, you know, at times I feel like, you know, everything's a rip off and I'm just gonna get ripped off again. And why will this be different? So then we know what we need to do to earn their trust. Mrs. Jones, 
there's no way that you're going to lose their, your money here. You know, I've always believed with all my businesses, and if you don't do this, I suggest that you do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, right? And behind the scenes, I don't even tell the customer this, I actually times that by two. So all my businesses, we had a 30-day money-back guarantee. My staff knew that we would honor this up to 60 days. No questions asked. In fact, I like to keep a couple of case studies around even of people that we've given refunds to. Mrs. Jones, I'd love to tell you that we've never given a refund to everyone and everybody's been so happy here. But the truth is every once in a while somebody finds that they're not a good fit. You know, I want you to meet Sally. Here was a situation with her. She got a refund. That's why we abide by our 30 day money back guarantee. Does that make you feel more comfortable about the money that you might have to invest? Right? So you see we're ultimately connecting it back to trust. Okay. The same can be true with time. Remember they've showed up. They've set this appointment. They've inconvenienced themselves by being there. You can probably see for yourself that they need your services. I mean, as trainers, we typically know right away if somebody has weight to lose or what it is they're trying to accomplish with just a few questions to know whether they need our service. Well, I don't know if I have time to fit this in. What the person is really saying is, again, they're fearful. It could be a couple of things. They may not trust you. Again, most likely they don't trust you. They don't trust you to be able to deliver the result and make it efficient because they already decided by booking this appointment and showing up that they actually need to do something, but they might be fearful that this won't work for them. Ultimately coming back to, I don't trust you. I don't trust that you know what you need to know to get me the results. I don't trust you to have enough education or to be skillful enough. I don't trust you to hold me accountable enough to follow through. These might be all the things that are running through their head. So now you know what you need to say. I totally understand, Mrs. Jones, but you booked this appointment and you came today. So is it safe to say you know that you need to do something? Yes. Right? So if not this, I understand this takes time. We've got three workouts a week that are going to be 30 to 60 minutes. It's going to take a little bit of time. So if, if you don't have time for that, let me ask you, what will you do? How will you accomplish that goal? Right? What would be the right amount of time for you? Right? So we need to dig a little bit deeper to help them validate their own commitment and then maybe ultimately ask them, hey, you know what, Mrs. Jones, I'm honestly afraid to commit to things my own self because it takes a while to learn things. It takes a while to get comfortable in some places, you know, and I just don't want to waste my time because it's not that I don't have time to do something. I just don't have time to waste on something that isn't going to work. Do you ever feel that way? Right? So again, we're, we're kind of saying what they're thinking without um, coming around back to directing at us. And when we say the unspoken things that our people are thinking, what happens even for you as you're watching this video? You're probably like, uh-huh, okay, uh-huh, I get it. I, I can kind of relate to this guy. Whether you've acknowledged that or not, that's just how we're wired, right? Like subconsciously, when people say the things that we're thinking, it's like it leads our brain to believe that that person knows us, gets us, is more trustworthy, is likable, is more like us, understands us, whatever it is. So you can see, like it all comes back to trust. So for the sake of rounding this out, let's also talk about the spouse because this is a really big, I don't trust you. Well, I need to talk to my wife about it. You know, and there's some truth to that because I don't know how it is in your relationship, but my wife and I, I mean, we talk about every major financial decision. But let me also tell you that when my wife comes home and says, I need to do this, I want to do this, I think this is important that we try this, I think it's important that I try this, it's like I'm going to support her, right? Unless we financially absolutely can't afford it, if she thinks it's that important, I'm typically going to support her, right? And in, in, in the situation of a spouse, both people are adults, right? And not both partners in the relationship always know and understand the finances. But the truth of the matter is, is that both are pretty smart people. And at least most of the relationships that I've seen or got to experience in my own relationship, it's like there's a level of trust for each other's judgment. So though they may need to run it by them, the point I'm getting at here is that there isn't a spouse on the planet that isn't going to su support their partner especially when it comes to fitness and looking and feeling better about themselves and more confident, right? Because it's not fitness and weight loss that we sell, it's confidence and self-esteem. And when people are more confident and have higher self-esteem, everything in life is better. And we, we know that, we know that as people. So at the end of the day, when somebody needs to speak to their spouse, it still is that I don't trust you. We need to be respectful of that. And I think it is important that people do run things by their spouse. But ask those questions. You know, like, is there any reason your spouse wouldn't want to support you if you really believe that this could work for you? Like, I know with my spouse, I might be apprehensive or nervous because we don't want to waste the money on things that don't work because we've all done that before. But if, if the, she or he or she feels that strongly about it, why wouldn't I support them, right? We'd find a way to make it work. So the point is, is ask them that. Hey, you know, like, 
I totally understand. My spouse and I, same thing. We make these decisions together and we just don't have money to waste on things that don't work. So, you know, if my wife feels really strongly about something, usually I'm going to support her. Is it safe to say the same about your spouse? Great. Well, here's what I'd like to do. You know, like, let's get your program set up because, and here's one of my favorites, guys. So this is kind of bonus material for you. As people, we all say we're going to get around to things, right? We all have that list of things to do, to get done, to try, whatever it is to experience. And we all have those things that keep getting put off that we keep saying we're going to do. Fitness and weight loss is a big one for many people, right? So the point is, if you don't get started today, it'll probably wait till next week, next month, never, because we've all experienced that. Nod your head if I'm right, right? I know a few of you that are following along, paying attention, are nodding your head right now. So the point is with the spouse, you know, leverage that with them. Hey, you know what? You need to talk to your spouse. We've established that they would support you. So the point is, is let's set up your program today. Let's get everything set up and here's why. There's no pressure, okay? But just like you, I have all those things that I keep meaning to get around to. Right? You can lay out that story for them and help them understand how their own behavior is going to prevent them from getting started if we don't get things moving forward today. Guys, I hope this helps you see. Really, these are the three common objections, but they all lead to really just one thing. People don't trust you, right? And, and that's what selling is today. Selling is about building a relationship of trust and helping people see value and trust and believe in you and have a form of risk reversal to make it easy for them to try. You'll be able to sell anything to anybody. That's how this works. I'm Cable. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it thought provoking. And if you liked it, you know, give me a thumbs up, a comment, or I'd just love it if you'd subscribe to my channel because I got more stuff like this I want to teach you.